So we've got we've got the greatest hits of Nerd Alert. Oh, I'm so happy. So we'll give you a couple of them. Okay. And okay. I normally have to sort of try and get into the nerdy voice, but I know you'll upstage me because the Sheldon voice is Oh well, the... I just have to open my mouth, I guess is what you're saying. Essentially, yeah. That's fine. That's um, fine. So uh, we do have a theme tune which I will sing <gasps> to you. And if you want to yeah. join in, feel free. It's well, quite I've never simple. heard it, but oh my god. It's a familiar tune. No, 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 no. Nerd Lurts. Nerd Lurts. Nerd Lurts. Nerd Lurts. Do you always sing with it? Nerd Lurts. Nerd Lurts. You do always sing with the theme. Wow. That's Nerd Lurts. You like the theme tune? I mean, I've heard it somewhere, but yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, we, we've got the a couple. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up a couple of our favorite ones. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. It starts with Hello, Jim. So they were prepared. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Hello, Jim. Toby here. Hi, Toby. In Ariana, in Ariana Grande and Iggy Azalea's song "Problem," which has played on the Scott Mill, sh- which was played on the Scott Mill show yesterday, the vocalist repeats the phrase "I've got one less problem without you" throughout the chorus. "I've got one less problem without you" throughout the chorus. By using the word "one," the vocalist implies that his problems—I would say her in this case—but whatever, that his problems are finite units which can be counted, and as a result, confirms his her use of the word less is erroneous as it implies that his or her problems cannot be counted. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Fewer should be used when you are talking about items that can be counted individually. For example, fewer than 10 apples. Less is correct when quantities cannot be individually counted. In that case, e.g., I would like less water. Good point. You wouldn't ever want to count water individually. Although I would say if you froze it, you could count it in cubes. But whatever, Toby. (laughs) A grammatically correct, though admittedly less catchy phrase would be, I've got one fewer problem without you. Or perhaps, my my life is less problematic without you. Thanks, Toby in Canada. Toby, this is this is wonderful. I, I think this is exactly the kind of pedantic problem that I could really get into. Yeah. So what, what's the solution for him? He's saying it should be, my life is, my yeah. is less problematic without you. How, cor- how does that chorus go? Uh, it goes... Well, first I want to say this. Toby, I have to apologize. That's a man singing that part. So even though it may be two women... Iggy Azalea is a woman, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I knew that, but now you made me... Well, we have Iggy Pop, and he's not. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I need you to agree with me. I do agree with you, yes. Uh, so, so be, I've got one fewer problem without you, or my life is less problematic without you. I don't think it's... A, I think it's just as good, Toby. I do. And I don't know who the man is singing that, but he should be alerted that some re-recording is in the offing. <laughs> All right, and one very quick one before I let you go. Oh, I'd uh, like to do longer ones, but whatever. Well, there's, I mean, pushing me out of your door. No, I, I, really no, I can to, see it. I, People no, I are don't... trying to get me out of here. Dear Jim, would it be incredibly geeky and pedantic to point out that there are a horrendous... that... I can't even read this. I think we have a problem with this letter. Oh, so would it be incredibly geeky and pedantic to point out that there, that there, I guess is a yeah. horrendous error in the Newsbeat article regarding the new Yoda waxwork? The line read, "Yoda waxwork be this." The correct headline, if using Yoda speech patterns, would be Yoda waxwork. This is this is not pedantic. This is true, as everyone knows. Yoda does, Yoda simply swaps the beginning of sentences to the end. He does not, however, use "b" as an alternative to "this," and he's not a flipping pirate. So we can say flipping on the BBC. Oh yeah, you can, not on the list. You can flip to your house content. And in answer to my first question, yes, I realize this is indeed the nerdiest thing you've probably read today. I don't know, Rob from Leeds. This may not be the nerdiest thing we've read today, but whatever. It's a mystery why I'm single. It really, Well, Rob, yes, it, you're, you're right about that. Your sarcasm is not misplaced in this article. But I think, Rob, um, yeah, Yoda waxwork be this. That, I don't, that calls to mind something else entirely, doesn't it? Yeah. What they actually have done now is because they got so many complaints, they've changed it. Oh, 
Pe- well, that's people. Well, I'm it. glad, although I may make my reading of his letter a moot point, right? <laughs> no, we already fixed it. No, but we're we're showing that this is we're 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 showing them up, and they won't make this mistake again. They were, yeah, that's how stupid they were. They they not only fixed their problem, they should be told and run into the ground about it. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be trafficking in hate journalism while at the BBC, but whatever. That's how we roll. Well, um, Jim, thank you so much for your time no, today. No, thank you. It's been a real pleasure it to meet you. It has been wonderful. Um, I look forward to the next few seasons of Big Bang Theory. Thank and you. All the best with Home as well. It's a great film. And keep up the good work with Downton. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>